Hello everybody, this is Claudio for The Growth Agency and in this video we will talk about what is the metaverse. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the ring bell button to get notified when we upload a new video. The term metaverse was originally coined in Neil Stephenson's cyberpunk novel Snow Crash. In the book, the metaverse is a shared imaginary place that's made available to the public over the worldwide fiber optics network and projected onto virtual reality goggles. In it, developers can build buildings, parks, signs, as well as things that do not exist in reality, such as vast hovering overhead light shows, special neighborhoods where the rules of three-dimensional space-time are ignored, and free combat zones where people can go to hunt and kill each other. Technologists would answer that the internet will eventually evolve into the metaverse, which will come to represent the next major computing platform. If the concept can be actualized, it is expected to be as transformative to society and industry as the mobile phone. The internet today is often the main entry point for millions of us to access information and services, communicate and socialize with each other, sell goods and entertain ourselves. The metaverse is predicted to replicate this value proposition, with the main difference being that distinction between being offline and online will be much harder to delineate. In his Facebook Connect keynote last week, Zuckerberg said that the best way to understand the metaverse is to experience it yourself, but it's a little tough because it doesn't fully exist yet. Zuckerberg described the metaverse as an even more immersive and embodied internet, where you're going to be able to do almost anything you can imagine, get together with friends and family, work, learn, play, shop, create, as well as entirely new categories that don't really fit how we think about computers or phones today. On a website or social media network, you might be represented by a username or a thumbnail picture. In the metaverse, you're represented by a customizable avatar that can move, speak, and or perform animated actions. These kinds of avatars have been common in all sorts of online gaming and social spaces since the 90s, but an avatar's fidelity and abilities can vary greatly from service to service. Recent advances in virtual reality have enabled users to truly embody their fantastical avatars, seeing through their virtual eyes and using hand tracking controllers to gesture and interact with virtual items. The metaverse is also expected to have a strong connection with the real world economy and eventually become an extension of it. In other words, the metaverse must have the ability for companies and individuals to participate in economic activity in the same way they do today, which means being able to build, trade and invest in products, goods and services. This can mean anything from a Neopets JPG that's associated with your account to a collection of powerful gear such as in World of Warcraft. In either case, your virtual property stays linked to you and doesn't disappear between sessions. Recently, people have tried to use non-fungible tokens as a decentralized way to track and establish ownership of virtual goods, independent of any controlling authority or corporate server. In theory, such NFTs could allow virtual goods to be moved freely between metaverses controlled by different companies. Allowing users to make their own metaverse content can be seen as a boon, both for users who get to shape the virtual world to their whims, and for the metaverse makers who don't have to spend a lot of time and effort creating every single virtual object. Games like Minecraft and Roblox show how metaverses that provide relatively simple building blocks can harness network effects and player creativity to produce a huge variety of in-world creations. But filling a metaverse with virtual objects isn't as simple as just saying, let the users do it. Questions of control, moderation, and copyright infringement can take an outsized importance here. Broadly speaking, any corporate entity or group of programmers can create a metaverse that meets any or all of the above criteria, just as anyone can create a social network. In these cases, a single entity manages the servers, polices user conduct, and sets rules for how the virtual world works. On the other end is a completely open architecture where different entities and interoperable servers connect to a single shared metaverse via a shared set of broadly agreed upon standards. Successes like the World Wide Web and email show how this is possible in the wider online world, but similar efforts to establish metaverse standards have mostly failed to catch on.
Right now, it seems unlikely that any single corporate-controlled metaverse will become that popular, though. When Meta and others talk about the metaverse, though, they're going a bit beyond that basic definition. The metaverse of Zuckerberg's vision isn't just a place for people to hang out as avatars, but a revolution of the online experience, offering a space where people will spend the bulk of their online lives. Meta and others see the future metaverse as one so compelling that it will largely and completely replace the internet we know, and it will be used for everything from corporate meetings to shopping to mass social gatherings. Thanks for watching. This was Claudio for the Growth Agency. See you on the next video.